first glance, Wilpolsried looks like a typical village in southern Germany. But this community of 2,500 is special. Not only does it meet all its own energy needs with eco-friendly power, it also produces about three times as much energy as it consumes and sells the rest. Wendelin Einsiedler, a farmer, has helped make that happen. He's been running his own biogas facility for more than a decade. It uses bacteria to make methane from potatoes, corn, and liquid manure. The gas powers two turbines that generate enough energy for the whole village. At first, it took a lot of idealism and conviction. Our priority wasn't the economy or the money. We thought it was an important thing to do. But since then, it's become a major part of the economy in Wildpolsried. Many buildings here are equipped with solar panels, and the power they generate earned the city 160,000 euros last year. Residents are enthusiastic about clean energy. They even wanted to put solar panels on the local church, but the building is protected under historic preservation. The village gets most of its power through five wind turbines, paid for by the residents themselves. They've put some of their profits toward building two more turbines, and local interest in the project is growing. Mayor Arnold Zengele has played a major part in the operation. When he took office 15 years ago, sustainable energy policy was high on his agenda. We did a survey early on, back in 1999, and over 92% said they were in favor of renewable energies and wind power. And when you're backed by that kind of vote, you can get a lot of things done. Word is spreading about Wilpolsried, well beyond Germany's borders. From Colombia. From Colombia. People from around the world come to town almost every week. Today it's a group of young engineers from South Africa, Colombia and Peru. As Germany phases out nuclear power, the entire country is looking to Wilpolsried's example. By the year 2050, renewable sources should account for at least 80 percent of Germany's energy needs. The visitors feel that's a worthy goal. Hats off to Germany for doing that. From uh, my own perspective, I think that renewable energy is the future and I hope that we'll see how Germany does and we learn from Germany. <laughs> it's great. If you see just a place which lives, which makes energy for their own country and they, they put also the energy to the grid and they also earn money for that. I think you have to learn from those people and try to repeat this ex very nice and successful example in a big city, also in my country too. But can this experience with renewables translate to bigger cities such as Munich? German engineering giant Siemens believes there is potential and part of the solution lies in smart grid technology. What's interesting for us about Wildpolsried isn't just energy independence. Rather, we want to look at how we can integrate increasingly decentralized power production into the existing infrastructure as affordably as possible. For cities like Munich, that means modifying the existing power lines so they can recognize when and where power is being fed in and funneled out. That concept is being put to the test in Wildpolsried using electric cars. Their batteries are meant to absorb extra power in the grid on very sunny or very windy days. That helps minimize extreme voltage fluctuations. Ignaz Einsiedler believes Germany will make the transition to renewables. If the visionaries and the engineers join forces, it'll work. If it's the entrepreneurs and the skeptics, then it won't. Wilpolsried has already achieved its energy transformation, but for dense urban areas, implementing the same kind of independent energy scheme wouldn't be realistic, because renewable power sources require plenty of space. You'll never be able to do it one-to-one, -one, but I share the opinion that the energy transformation will happen outside the city, and that rural areas have huge potential to provide power to cities in the future. 
The people of Villepoldsried are proud of what they've achieved. Their experience serves as an example of how renewable energy can be good for the environment and for profits.